Welcome to Flourish in Five. My name is Heather Lawton, and every Friday I share a story, a lesson, or a quick idea with the goal of helping you gain a new perspective. Could you please subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment? I would really appreciate it. This past weekend, I was teaching a photography class at our local community college, which is absolutely one of my favorite things to do. And during a break, we kind of went on this tangent about time because everybody's always talking about how busy they are. Are you one of these people? It's just constant with you constant. I'm so busy. I have so much going on. How you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just busy, busy, busy. And then you complain that you never have time because you're always complaining that you're busy. I've talked about this in previous episodes. You probably just need to shut up about time. Most of your problem is coming from the fact that you are speaking it into existence and also words shape emotion. If you are constantly talking about how busy you are and your lack of time, you're going to feel it and you're going to experience it. And it is only going to compound. So while I was teaching, I had explained to them that I, in fact, own time. And what I meant by that was I don't believe in time in the traditional sense. I have adopted an Einstein view of time. And that is that time is relative. And you can prove this because if you've had, say, a very painful dental procedure that's maybe been 15 or 20 minutes long, but it's felt like an hour, yet you could have a massage that's an hour long and it felt like five minutes, that proves to you that time is relative, which means with your thoughts, your attitude, and your perspective, you could, in fact, speed up or slow down time. Well, at least your perception of it. Now I'm not going to claim that we don't have schedules or, you know, especially if you work, you have to be at a certain place at a certain time. I have kids that are in schedules. I have to pick my son up from the bus. Like I understand I have meetings. We are beholden to the clock to some degree, but only as much as you accept it. And I've just decided not to accept it. I want to recommend two books on this subject that are so far out in the woo-woo sphere. (laughs) It might make your head spin. Keep in mind, I'm a mechanical engineer that loves systems and processes. Adopting the woo-woo has been a long journey for me. So if I say these books are woo, I mean, they are really out there. The first book is A Happy Pocket Full of Money, subtitle, Infinite Wealth and Abundance in the Here and Now. This is by David Gikondi. He talks about the Einstein view of time in one of the chapters that I have reread at least three or four times. And I'm like, whoa, that on the human, in the 3D model that we live in, it just does not make any sense, but you have to try to expand your mind beyond it. And I recently read a book by Richard Dots, who is an author that I love. He absolutely is out there in a woo-woo sphere, but for some reason, when he explains it, it seems simple to me, like I can understand it. So I recommend all of his books, but the one I just finished reading is called Playing in Time in Space, subtitle, The Miracle of Inspired Manifestations. So he also has a blurb on time and he has an exercise that I'm going to challenge you to try. So here's what he says. He calls this playtime. Whenever you feel the urge to look at a clock or watch out of habit, especially if there is no need to do so, stop and silently say to yourself, time is an illusion. I am where time comes from. I can make more time when I need it. If you do this consistently throughout a few days or weeks, it will be one of the most liberating experiences in your life. I can understand if many of you are rolling your eyes or sighing, like that is never going to work. I don't believe it. I understand. I've been with you in the past, but I'm telling you it does work. He goes on in the book to explain several instances where he thought he was going to be late because of traffic. He actually should have been late. And then he arrived on time and it didn't make any sense. Well, a lot of this stuff doesn't make any sense. That's your problem. You're trying to make sense of it. And you're also really hanging on to the story that you're so busy. You don't have time to pursue your dreams or your passion. You're too busy. You're like, no one else is as busy as you. You're the only person that is so busy. You don't have time for anything. 
Like first get over yourself, shut up about the time. And then what if you just try to this exercise? I'm going to read it again. This is from the book, Playing in Time and Space. Whenever you feel the urge to look at a clock or watch out of habit, especially when there is no need to do so. So I would add to this, maybe leave your phone somewhere else behind or in another room where you can't look at it and take off your watch and then make it so there is no clock to physically look at because it is 100% a reflexive habit. Stop doing it. Okay. Stop and say silently to yourself, time is an illusion. Time is an illusion. I am where time comes from. I can make more time when I need it. If you do this consistently throughout a few days or weeks, it will be one of the most liberating experiences in your life. I would love to know how many of you are going to even try this. Or if you think it's just so ridiculous, you're rolling your eyes. I don't know. I think if you've been listening to me for any amount of time, there's a part of you that thinks, hmm, maybe I should try this or it might be true. It works for me. And the other saying that I have used for years is I own time. I own time. So I don't get nervous or anxious. I, it's not that I love a lot of things on my schedule because I don't. I really try to keep a lot of margin and flexibility in my calendar. This week, I don't have that. I have a lot of meetings and places I need to be, but that's totally fine because I'm just telling myself I own time. Everything will get done the way it needs to get done. And that's the end of the story. I'm not going to make the problem worse by lamenting about it and complaining about how busy I am. I'm just, I have a lot going on, but I own time. So time is an illusion. I'm where time comes from. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next episode.